go for a few chanting the Latin to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. By many generations of the practice of giving and so forth, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. I go for a few chanting the Latin to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. By many generations of the practice of giving and so forth, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. I go for a few chanting the Latin to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. By many generations of the practice of giving and so forth. May I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. <coughs> Now the question is, 
the last school, only the last school, but the Madimika school is referred to as Madimika, middle school, and the first three that are not referred to as middle, middle school. Is it that they are also middle school or that they are not? If they are not, then the, these three schools, they, do they accept that we are not the middle school? Is, so these questions come. Answer is that the two schools are there. <coughs> Uh, for example, the head of the state is known as, head of, in India, head of the state is known as chief minister. Head of the country is known as prime minister. What's the difference between prime and the chief? It's the same. It's just a label, different labels given. So now, we see chief minister, oh, it is the, say, uh, the subordinate of the prime minister. So this is how we understand. Likewise, each one of them, they have different labels. Madhya school, finally the understanding is that the, the whole import of the Buddha's teachings is understood, is, is reflected in the Madhya philosophy. So the Buddha's teaching is the Madhya following the Madhya philosophy or the middle way and the approach. So the, this school is referred to as the Madhya school. And the remaining three schools, they are not referred to as Madhya school, but each one of them, they say that we are the ones who follow the middle way. Each one of them. Say so they have their own understood version of what is the middle way. Middle way means one who is freed of the two extremes. So each of them, they come up with their own version of what are the extremes. Two extremes, they put their own demarcation of the two extremes and they avoid them. They say that this is middle way. So they have their own version of the middle way. And all schools, they claim to be middle way, but only the fourth one is referred to as the middle way. This is how we understand. Okay, any more questions? There weren't, there weren't anything else, really. There weren't a lot of discussion. Say again? There weren't a lot of new ideas that, that came up. Like what? What do you think is okay, Sanjayji? No? Okay, the Jack Tony? Don't say a lot. See one, just pick up one. No, there were not. There were not. <laughs> I said not and lots. These are very similar. That's strange. Okay. Can I please ask more about that? Yes, yes. So this portion we had is but what he said was, how come the Vaibhashika or the Sukhantika, uh, they were at a similar time as a Madhyamika, but they don't accept Madhyamika as a little bit. So if the example he gave was written uh, by Einstein, Newtonian time to think that that was a thought of Einstein came and quantum came. But he said, but if Newton today came and Einstein was there, he was so okay with Einstein's theories are better than mine. So how come the Vaibhashita did not accept Admit. the Madhya Vigai? Why would they admit? That was his theory. Okay, that's good. That's very good. Anybody who can help me? To get out this problem? No, actually, uh, during the discussion, uh, one of the counter arguments, uh, counter point was, or one of the points was that, uh, to give an analogy with respect to scientific discoveries, where you know Newton came and then later Einstein came. So, so <coughs> scientists which came after Newton, they built upon, they refined the ideas of Newton. Yes, yes, yes. And like that, uh, how the different schools came about. Oh, okay. That's the, oh, okay. the point. Oh, okay. And okay. my counterpoint is that uh, these schools existed at the same time, contemporary. Exactly. Whereas exactly. Newton and Einstein, they're not times. Okay, very good. So the Newton and Einstein, these were different times. Uh, different times. If Newton happened to be um, at the time of Einstein, he would say that, okay, Einstein's, uh, the, the concept is much more refined than mine. One, and maybe if Einstein was born at the time of Newton, he may have discovered gravity. And Newton is born at Einstein's time, he may have discovered relative theory. We never know. Newton is very bright. It's not that, you know, he's less intelligent than Einstein. I would say that if not more intelligent, he's equally intelligent as Einstein. The thing is that first we have to discover something, we have to discover the land. Once the lab is discovered, then we have to think of making the, the laying the ground, foundation. 
Once the foundations are laid, then it becomes very easy to build the, to stack the bricks. It becomes very easy. So there was the one who stacks the bricks, that person gets the credit of building the house. Actually, the one who found the land, who dug the foundation, laid the foundation. Without these two things happening, how can you build the bricks? Stack the bricks. So without which, you only get the credit. So the credit takes the last person. So I understand, of course, he's extremely brilliant, but I would say that Newton is amazing. If Einstein was born in the time of Newton, and Newton born in the time of Einstein, the, perhaps Einstein would discover the gravity, but not relatively at that point of time. It's all because of something ready made there. Gravity, everything is already discovered. So Einstein, his job is to discover something new. So the old one is very easy for him. Because it's only discovered. Now, at the time of Einstein, there were only three people. Believe that only three people who understood Einstein's theory of relativity. Now they all check in, what is that? What's the English expression? Or Tom Dick and Ham. Everybody knows the relativity theory. Right? But it's time I said there were only three who are believed to have understood Einstein's relativity theory. So the point is that, okay, next. The point is that the Einstein and Newton, they came at two different times. The four different schools, Buddhist schools, they came at the same time, at the same time. So how come that the one does not agree with the other? Okay, let us not think about this. Even today, on the same planet Earth, there are so many traditions, right? Some are so trivial, some are so, you know, very simple. Yet they think that this is the ultimate. They are not really open to listen to others, right? Just explore, go around, you will see many traditions. You will see many traditions, right? Within Hinduism, within Christianity, within Islam. The same world, now the world of di it's a digital world. It's so easy to communicate. Still, that is not happening. In, in the first place, the, that is not happening. Number two, our mind is very close. Even in this campus. <laughs> Don't go far away. Even in this small campus. Right? Some Christian songs are coming there. I don't know, this time the, any Hindu things coming up. Otherwise, Hindu things coming up, Christian things, Buddhist things coming up. And this small, small campus, all these small things coming up, they really don't communicate. Right? Small communication happened. The fruits. Yeah. Given. Right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks. Okay. Story. <laughs> okay, so what I'm saying that this is reality. So we should look at the reality very closely. Yeah? Pretty simple. The, the response, what is what is responsible is our lack of our close mindedness. That is responsible for, for lack of communication. And then the chauvinism. That mind tradition is the best. This will stop you from interacting with other traditions. So therefore today, particularly I feel myself to be very fortunate because I feel so happy to communicate with everybody. Not because for any reason, but because I had the you know the opportunity to be with his soldiers for so long, and his soldiers have such an open mind to embrace anybody, to talk to anybody, to embrace, appreciate, and it is just amazing. It's the greatness of his holiness. It's the greatness. Okay, so the uh, but debates did happen. It did happen in the history of the uh, the Buddhism. Debates, debates happen. For example, on the the two brothers, Arasanga and Acharabasu Two of them had a heated debate. Arasanga following the the Madhimga philosophy and also the Chitama philosophy, and Acharabasu following the Southantic school and Vaibhashika. So two of them, the two brothers, had to heavy debate. And then Acharya Chandragati and Acharya Chandragomi, two of them had heated debate for seven years. So these debates did happen in those days. Yeah. Even in Tibet also many debates happened. Even in Tibet, Lama Sumabha wrote the commentary, the great commentary, extremely, extremely beautiful commentary, amazing. What a legacy for the world. For the world, not just Tibetans, Uma Bombarasa, the 
commentary on Ajahn Chandi with a beautiful commentary. The moment he came out with this commentary, so many rebuttals came from the, the other people. They are not happy with this, you know. Not for any other reason, because somebody is being respected everywhere, and then you know, they started to give out the debates. Okay, this is happening. Okay, so the idea is that the, anyway, the, the, the Buddha taught his form in the form of the steps, staircase to climb to the ultimate understanding of the Buddha's philosophy, which is the, no, I wouldn't say Buddha's philosophy, ultimate reality. Ultimate reality, which the Buddha discovered to reach that level, then these were taught in the steps. And if you study all these four tenets systems so well, we cannot really leave aside any tenet system. We will have to embrace all the four tenet systems. It's beautiful. That's it. Jack, that's it. No questions. That's interesting. Otherwise, if all the questions answered. We had 10 minutes, 15 minutes. We had coffee for 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, so we now turn to page. <clears throat> okay, we are on page 66, the last paragraph. The last two lines. Here. Outer dependent arising seem to be in terms of five aspects. What is outer dependent arising? Like the flowers, like the house coming to being, by dependent origination, and so forth. Of which five? As not permanent, as not discontinuous. Okay, as not permanent, as not discontinuous as not involving transmigration, as the formation of a large result from a small seed and as the continuity of similar time. Okay, this is again very important point. Um, let's say, okay, what is this? Say if you have a, if you have a gold ring, gold ring, and then you're not interested in the gold ring anymore. For example, say at one point, it's just for information. At one point, the, one of my friends requested me if I can um, the, what, offer some gold rings, then gold what, rings, then what, earring, and then the, the, the just handful of gold items. Um, if I can offer these to his holiness, the Dalai Lama, on behalf of the deceased. Deceased, the one family, the husband and wife both passed away and then the gold items all the year. And then finally he brought them to me and I was holding them, I could hear the sound of the gold. What is that like? Like metal gold. And in my eyes, because I I do not see these two the couple, but I know know about these two couples. And I was looking at this with a sound, talk, 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 like this. Literally, it is like I'm seeing the dead people inside my hand. This just see how mm, they took a couple, how much effort they put to create these gold rings and anklets and so forth. How much effort? It's not just you know two or three pieces. It's just handful. How many efforts they put? Now it's all going there to request for prayers. Pray for us. They're all in there. This is impermanence. Okay. So let's say now this gold, I'm not going to be in the form of rings anymore. For sure, this one is going to somehow, you know, so consolidate, consolidate and then maybe do to the statue, whatever, we we'll offer it to somewhere. Right? Same. So this this gold rings will dismantle them and make them, let's say, a Buddha statue. What is common between these two? The gold rings and the ornaments and the Buddha's gold and Buddha statue. What is common between these two? Uh, this gold and the gold in, for example, say, Nigeria. What is the difference? 
Just to think to... one is transformed into the other. Yes, okay. So this gold rings, they transform into the golden statue. The, the gold ring in the Nigeria, it remains gold ring. Right? So here the common thing is that there's gold which trans which moves from the which moves from the rings for, in the form of rings to the form of a with a statue. Okay, we see that there's one common thing. Do you see that? Do you see it? Okay. So although the shape changed, but the gold did not change. Which means the gold has trans transformed. The gold has moved to another form, another shape. Okay, this is the impression that we get. Here also, there is an inclination of the of grasping at a substance there. Grasping a substance there. You're getting it? This is also a form of self-grasping ignorance. This is very uh, first time when I when I heard this, it's quite scary. We talk about rebirth. Rebirth means the mind leaves the body here and the mind moves to the next body and then that's your rebirth. So something which travels there. And then when I studied this, that the Buddha was saying that there's nothing really transmigrates. Right? It's quite scary. It's quite disturbing. Not only scary, it's quite disturbing. Okay. So there this disturbance was believed in this belief there is a belief in objective existence of what transmigrates from one life to the other. There's object the belief in objective the objective existence of the gold being transformed from the ornaments to the Buddha stage. Something which you know remains static and just change the form, otherwise the substance remains static. This is what is being rejected here. So for us, one thing that would be very helpful is don't just say don't take this approach that okay I don't agree. Don't take this approach. Approach that we take, that I take, which is extremely helpful, is that okay. My approach, my approach meaning that okay, there is something there, the gold which is the same, which simply change the form from the ornaments to the Buddha statue. But there's something which is common there. Something there. This is my old thinking. This is what I think. But oh, there must be something wrong with this. Don't say that it is wrong. Because you don't know how it is wrong. Don't say it is wrong. Oh, it may be wrong. Because what I'm reading here and what my thinking is so contradictory. So from this, what my thought may be is wrong. Don't say that what is written here is wrong. If you do this, you will never grow. You will never grow. So our approach should be that in any ways, your, your thinking is your thinking. Right? Your thinking is there with you. It will not disappear. Only if you realize you understand something else, then you see of the two. Other makes a deeper sense, like what the Newton, if he comes to take birth at the time of or if he moves from 300 years ago to Einstein's time, oh, what Einstein said is deeper than mine. But likewise, what he says here in this text is deeper than mine, so my mind is strong. That will come later. But, whereas otherwise, till that point, your view is your view. You remain there, don't worry. Now you are getting a new idea, which is so precious. So precious. Your idea is not going to be, you know, dumped away. Your idea is still there, don't worry about that. But the wise approach, I would say, wise approach would be, instead of saying that, oh, I don't agree with what is written there. Whereas if it is written by an author like me, you can say, I don't agree with this. Whereas it is written by the Buddha. So there, oh, it must be, there must be a reason there. What's the reason? My thinking must be wrong. Right? Don't say it is wrong. To say it is wrong, you should know how it is wrong. Because you don't know how it is wrong, Okay, I need to double check how my thinking and what is written there. There, should, there is a seeming, seemingly there is a this, the contradiction. At least on the surface, there is a contradiction. So, what is said there? This is extremely helpful to me. This was extremely helpful to me, um, and will be also very helpful to you. And as long as we don't scratch this belief that there's something there which is common, which moves from this. This is a self-grasping ignorance. This ignorance is what 
what the market is. This is the, the, how the mind projects things. You are aware of this. And this is what traps us samsara. So it is time for us to revolutionize these ideas. But for that matter, don't follow blindly. <clears throat> don't follow blindly. Study these things very uh, effectively. Okay, let's see. Here, outer dependent arising is to be seen in terms of five aspects. Which five? Not as, as not permanent. Which means that the, they say the seed, seed given rise to the shoot. Let's see. Seed given rise to the shoot. Shoot given rise to the the petals. Petals given rise to the the what? The say the, the bud. Then the the, the pedestal, and then no. What's it? Pistil, then to the flower, then to the, the fruit. Okay, so let's not go all these. Just let's focus on the seed and the shoot. Just focus there. So let's, they said this seed grows to the shoot. So then this auto, auto dependent origination, it is not permanent. Because seed, seed does not remain as a seed. Seed transforms into the shoot. Then the seed disappears and the shoot came out, which is not permanent. This is easy. The next, as not discontinuous, as not discontinuous. If it is not permanent, then what is seed, what is shoot, these two are different. If these two are different, are they continuous or not, dis not, uh, not continuous? They are continuous, which means it is not discontinuous. Okay. Uh, you mentioned those bulbs which you have to keep in the fridge, right? Yes. So keep them for some time. Yes. So it's it's there for some time and then it grows. So that is, it may be still changing while it's stored. Right? So no, what's the question? Be the right? What's the question? How does it become continuous? Continue to off. You take it out, yeah. then you know you expose them to light, whatever condition, then it gives rise to the flower. So is this continuous? Yes, 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 it's continuous. Okay, is there the other version? Is there the other book? Somebody's other book? What, what is that there? Instead of discontinuous. Same. So it is not discontinuous. Not discontinuous. Okay. The Tibetan word is chepa. Chepa men. Tapa men. Chepa. Tapa men is not permanent. Chepa men. Chepa usually translate it as chepa. Not only discontinuous. Chepa is annihilation. Annihilation. We use it as annihilation. Permanent. Permanent means it lasts forever. Annihilation means no. Opposite of annihilation. Opposite of permanence. It annihilates. More, the, much stronger than destroyed. Okay, so it doesn't matter. This continuous is very small. This you, know, the, you can easily understand it. You can easily accept it. Not discontinuous. It is continuous. Why the double negative? Which one? For the sentence. Mm -hmm. Not discontinuous. Yes. Why the double negative? No, no. See, the opposite of permanent is one is permanent. Opposite of that is the, the, it, uh, not permanent, which means it discontinues. Permanent means it lasts for long. Right? Opposite of that is it does not last long, it does not, it discontinues. So it, continuous and permanent are not opposite. Not necessarily opposite. Right. Permanent has connotation with last long. Permanent doesn't change. Permanent no, no. Change. This is the Jack, your, your philosophy background or logic background. Permanent has a connotation. For example, say that, okay, Jack is permanently there. Right? Okay. Okay, the, the, we are permanently there. Some of us, they are permanent in Bangalore. This is a connotation of the normal people. Right? They don't say that he's unchanging in Bangalore. He's permanently in Bangalore. His connotation is last long. You're getting it? And then the last long. Observe that is no, not last long, discontinuous. 
These two are the, the two things. So they are permanent, which last long. Number two is discontinuous, which does not last long. So it says that it is not permanent, but also not discontinuous. Okay, this will explain later. The Buddha himself, the Aramatriya himself will explain what these are. Two, as not involving transmigration, this is the point. As not involving transmigration, is there uh, this question? The same question, because it's not No, no. The idea is that the our belief, our belief is to be crumbled. What is our belief? Some believe that oh it's permanent. Some believe that oh it is it annihilates completely the seed, shoot, the seed annihilates completely. Right? When you say that there's nothing there from the object, then the seed and the shoot is not unrelated. Unrelated means where what happened to the seed when the shoot comes? It is nothing to do, it disappeared. Which means it is annihilation. These are all the views held. Views held by the people. Not only views held, these are the, the views which people have innately there. Or which when you when you subject them to analysis. When you put them to questions, then they will hold on to some of these views automatically. So to dismantle these views, is saying that you are seeing this permanent, it is not. You are seeing this discontinuous, it is not. You are seeing it as involving transmigration, it is not. It's for that purpose. Okay, third part is very important. As not involving transmigration, meaning that, say, Actually, transmigration, this is one word. Tibetan is poa. Poa means it moves. Like, for example, say you are here, morning you look at the mirror, and you see the, your, the, image of the image of your face on the mirror. Oh, it's me. It's just like your mind has, your, your, your face has jumped in the mirror. The poa has this connotation. That the whole face moved there. The whole gold from the ring and the ornaments, whole gold, the gold, the shape did not move. The gold moved to the Buddha statue to take on the form, moved rather than transmigrate. Okay, uh, the Tibetan word is poa. Poa means to jump or to move. That would be a, a, the other, that should be the actual understanding. So the point, this question that I asked you is, is what moves to the from the ornament, gold ornament, to the Buddha statue, gold Buddha statue. The gold moved, the shape did not move. Shape is left behind or removed, and the shape is transformed into the Buddha statue. So what actually remains the same is the gold. Remains the same meaning there's a substance there, something objectively there, right? So this is a very, very one form of self-grasping ignorance to see things as objectively near, something near and to say that that is not true is a little disturbing in your mind right? if this disturbance happens to your mind right? there are two ways of coming no, it doesn't make sense finish, the moment this is your attitude you will never see emptiness whereas Oh, it's a little disturbing, right? I couldn't believe that this is what's in there. But because this is set there, okay, let me check. Let, let me re explore again how my thing is correct or how, how I built up this thinking. Don't say that, no, you know, just take it for granted your thing is correct. Don't take it for granted. Put your thinking into question. When something goes in contradiction, unless until you are hundred percent sure that what is written there is wrong, it's subject to your thinking also to question. This is very important. So with this, then you will react, there will come to a point. There's a possibility that whatever I'm seeing is just like a mirage, it's like a dream, right? Solidification dissolves completely, 
and then your mind will feel total freedom. This is very precious. Okay. Anyway, the explanation will be given there. As the formation of a large result from a small cause or small seed, okay, change it to seed. The Tibetan version is the seven, seven seed. Uh, second line, page 67, small cause or small seed. And as a continuity of similar type. The first one is not permanent, second one is not discontinuous, the third one is no trans the transmigration. The fourth one is a small small seed giving rise to a large result, and the, the fifth one is the the results will be similar time as that of the cause. The five aspects. Okay. Uh, let's say the a large result from a small seed, meaning one we plant one seed, and from there hundreds of flowers will be given rise to, and hundreds of seeds seeds will come out of that. From one mango seed, thousands of mangoes will grow, and each mango has one mango seed each. So one seed will give rise to thousands. A tiny seed will give rise to numerous results. Um, how is it not permanent? Okay, now each of the five points being dealt with. How is it not permanent? It is not permanent because the sprout and the seed are different. Permanent means something which remains the same. The sprout and the seed is so different. So therefore, it, it, nothing really remains the same. So therefore, it is not permanent. Now, the sprout is not the seed. The sprout does not come from the seed after it has ceased. Okay, tell me. The seed, the sprout, came from, this, came from the seed or not? Yes. Came from the seed. Okay, the sprout is produced from the seed. Sprout is produced from the seed. Yes. Yes. So the act of production, act of production, the phenomenon of production, the activity of the production, without the activity of production, the, the sprout cannot be produced from the seed. Do you agree with me? Without the act of production, without the action of production, act of production, without the act of production, the sprout cannot be produced from the seed. You agree with me? So the act of production should exist. It exists during what which time? During the time of the seed or the sprout? In between. Oh, in between. In between means seed, then the gap, and then the sprout. Okay, so there's a time when the seed is not there, when the sprout is not there. Is there such a time? No, which means it's not in between. Well, when was that then? Huh? Or that's where? Okay, so the, uh, the production is during the seed also. If the seed is there, what is produced? Sprout is not there. Production means something, the agent must be there. Agent which is produced. Agent to be produced should be there. Only then we can say this is produced. Because the sprout is not there, seed is just a seed. So when is the act of production? At the time of sprout, sprout is already produced. Why do we need the production? Huh? No, no, my question is, did it exist or not? It did not exist. Wow, oh, this is so courageous. Huh? For which time? At the time of seed or the, the, the shoot? You need the subject. Huh? Without the objectively the, the I don't know, I'm not talking about objective subject. I'm talking about whether the the, the act of production exists or not. Yes. yes. It exists. So it exists in time or outside time? Act of production. In time. In time. Time either the time of seed or the time of the shoot. Which answer? Give your answer again. Who? Archana. Archana. Okay, last moment see. Last moment we see the production is there. Yes. So the last moment see the shoot is not there. Without shoot, what is produced? Yes, yes, yes. So So what are you saying? The becoming of the becoming of the seed. No. No. 
Becoming of the shoot is the one which made the shoot come out. So becoming of the shoot is not a seed. No, it's not a seed. Yeah. It's a continuous process. Yes, of course. So the actual production exists where? Before? After? Before? During the seed? Or after the seed? Her answer is correct. And which which makes sense. Which says, rather the sprout is born precisely as the seed ceases. And that's <laughs> so, what she said. No, so whatever is the case, you give an answer, then I'll, uh, I'll see you know, how to take it. The sprout is more precisely as the seed. So the act of production, yes, Manjuri? Goes right through. Okay, goes right through, which means the act of production, act of production happens, act of production happens at the time of the seed. Yes, seed through the seed through the shoot. Seed through the shoot. So not through the, and not at the time of the seed. It happens at the time of the seed. From the seed to the shoot. Okay, from, which means it is at the time of the seed. Seed also, a tom shoot also, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which means it exists at the time of seed. If it exists at the time of seed. Yes, it changes, it changes. Yes, I know. I know. My question to you is does it exist at the time of seed? Yes. To say it exists all the way through means it exists on the seed, it exists at the time of shoot also. Yes. Overlaps also. Overlaps means it spreads on the seed also. Right? It starts from the seed. It starts from the seed. At times, it exists. Yes. A, the, so, the, what is produced? The, the to say production. Production of what? The sprout. The sprout is not there. But, uh, so, the action related to the sprout cannot be possible if the sprout is not there. Why is it leading up to the germination? Huh? So, when, when the seed comes first, some condition. Huh? Germination. Uh, so, it, it, it so this germination, this germination is at the time of seed or at the time of shoot? At the time of seed. At the time of seed. So germination means the sprout is already coming out. Which means the seed, the seed is no more there. Yeah. But when this, the sprout is already coming out, then how could the seed be there? Seed is the seed is the cause of that. Cause and the effect will not be simultaneous. Yes, Jack. There, there is no clear delineation. <laughs> where we would all agree that that is the formation of the sprout. Each of us would, would look at it at a particular time and say that's when the sprout is. So it doesn't matter. So you give me the answer. Okay. Your answer may different. It doesn't matter. Give me the answer. Right? The act of production, act of the formation of the, the sprout, it exists when? If it exists, it exists when? That's my question. It's like a child becoming a man. Same, it's same, a same, 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 it's same. Like it, it's not like it's dormant at one stage. And it's no, no, up to you. You give the answer. You give the answer. When does it exist? Does it exist in time or not? In time. In time. <laughs> yes, which time? At time of seed or at time of shoot? At the time of the seed, once it is in the soil and all the other conditions are right. Not at the time of the seed when it's in a Okay, at the time of the seed in the when the other conditions are right. When the other conditions are right, which means that the, the shoot has already started to come out or not yet come out. About to about to emerge. It's, it's about ready, to come out. It's ready to emerge. About to come out, which means about to be produced. Yes. So production has not yet happened. Unless the production begins, the result is not going to show. So the production is yet to happen. Production of what? It's happening in the seed. To say production of, this, production of the shoot, without the shoot, how can you say that the, the, the production of the shoot? The production and the produced is different. This is what I'm saying. Production of the shoot. Without the shoot at all, how can you ascribe the, the, this action related to the shoot? No, once the shoot emerges, then it's produced. No, this is my question to you. It's not production. No, this is my question. So, which means the production should happen before this shoot. Yes, of course. Okay, not at the, the time of shoot. No. Oh, which means it doesn't overlap. It's not a... <laughs> <laughs> yes. The continuation does not overlap. Okay, over, okay. It's, 
So it should not be continuation because it should start the moment the shoe comes out. No, 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 my question to you. Production should start when the shoe comes out. Because it's produced, it is not production. As per your understanding. As far as the shoe is concerned, yes. Yes. We are talking about the production of the shoe, this is what I'm talking about. So the moment the shoe comes out, then it's not a continuous process, it starts. It starts. Okay, so the, the continuous process it is now given up. It starts at that point. Which means production happens before the, the before the shoot. Before the produced before the shoot yes. before the shoot. Yes. Before the shoot. Yes. Which means at the time of the seed. Yes. At the time of the seed the production means production of what? The shoot. So the shoot is not there, so how can it be production be? I understand what you are saying. I know. You can't say that the material is not there, so. But so until a car is fully made, it's not a car. Right? What are you so the, the point is, the point, the point is that it's just arbitrarily, just keep in mind the future car, then we say that we are manufacturing car. Yes. There's no car there. There's no car there. Yes. There's no car there. Yes. Right? There's no car there. It's just, we call that this is the production of a car, production but there's stage. no real car there. Production stage, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no car there. So to say there is a production of a car, it's just arbitrarily called as production. Because there's no car there. Right. Being produced. Huh? Being, being produced. Under yeah, Being produced of what? Under production of what? Right? So, at the time of seed, at the time of seed, at the time of seed, seed is when the a shoot is here to come. When, would you please tell me how, how we define when the shoot arises? No, no, this you have to know. No, 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 no. We ask you questions back and forth and you okay. tell me how no. it is. <laughs> yeah. Would you please tell me when the shoot arises? So this we have to come up with all these things. <laughs> Otherwise, then you will ask me what is shoot. Just answer this one question. You don't know what my next question will be. What? You don't know. You're just assuming. No, I don't know. They, they, they. You told me what my next question would be. All of them. No, no. What I'm saying is, in fact, all these questions are not to challenge you. It's to challenge our, say, our concept, our belief. There's one belief which has been deconstructed. Because of these questions. Only with these questions you will feel challenged. Challenge what? Your thoughts, thought process. What thought process? Some belief system. This is the challenge. Then what is happening is that these belief systems they, they believe in some objective reality, solidified reality. That is being challenged. And when you realize, in fact, there are minimal questions. In fact, if we get time, we can also do those things. For example, like, you know, say the Present meaning together. together. That's no. The opponents are saying, right? Okay, opponents. The opponents are saying that the scale. Oh. Then they answer that the action is there, but the agent is not there. But the using common sense, it doesn't make sense, right? I mean, the vegetable scale, when I mean, one goes down, the other scale comes. So the seed is seed is this. Both don't exist at the same time. Both don't exist at the same time. This idea of the same is that cause and effect. Cause and result cannot exist at the same time. Whereas during the germination process, we can see that there is a partial seed coming out of the partial seed. <laughs> a partial sprout coming out of the partial seed. Yeah. Okay. Partial seed so, do, seed. so, which means Modern that, one to the same that, one to the same that the seed, seed, uh, but the seed, the seed and the, the shoot is to a cause and effect is to a simultaneous. You want to say? There's a stage where the two can be simultaneous. That is a disaster, logically speaking, disaster. Uh, because they say the seed, 
But the very definition is a cause. Cause of the shoe. Cause of the shoe means which is to help the shoe. If the shoe is already there, what help is required? Right? So this is okay. So Smith, Smith, uh, Smithy, right? Smitha. Smitha is more daring to say that partial seed is not seed. <laughs> so if we agree that partial seed is not seed, partial sprout is not sprout, then what is that? No, no, but the, the, this you have to ask, the second part you, you have to ask her. <laughs> what I would say is that partial sprout is sprout, partial seed is not seed. Buddha is fully enlightened. Bodhisattva is not fully enlightened. This was not favoritism. It's like when the bite of the apple that you had, it's the same if I was to relate to that example, and it has transformed from being the whole apple yet to a bitter apple. So it's a partial seed. A partial seed is not a good seed. Not a good seed. Okay, so Charu, do you mean? The what, what are you saying? You are saying that partial seed is not seed. Is partial seed is different. partial seed is seed. So that's partial. That's okay. 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 Partial seed is not a seed. It is only given rise to the, 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 the result. Okay. So the good, when you feel that something is challenged, I cannot give a clear answer, a very confident answer, things become easy, means very good. Things become easy means your thought processes, they are being challenged. When this is challenged, right, it's not because that, that, you, that you are less intelligent, you are becoming more intelligent. Because new thoughts are coming in, new thoughts question the old thoughts and all thoughts are being dismantled. Okay, let's read further. Let's read further, we will have, we will have discussions also. Okay. How is it not permanent? It is not permanent because the sprout and the seed are different. The sprout is not seed. The sprout does not come from the seed. After it is seized, the sprout does not come from the seed after it is seized. If the seed is seized, seized, then after means there is a gap between the seizing of the seed and the sprout. Is there a gap? Seed, seed seized, seed seized. And then, sprout sprout yeah. uh, there is no gap. So therefore, it is not after the seizing of the seed. Right? If it is after the seizing of the seed, then the seed and the, the seed and the sprout, there should be gap. There should be no gap. While it is the, after it is seized, nor does it come from the seed, while it is not seized. Okay, so much. So, the sprout is given rise to after the after the season of the seed or before the season of the seed. Read the last sentence. <laughs> <laughs> the sprout the sprout is produced from the seed or not? Yes. Okay. Yes. If you say if you say not too sure, <laughs> then people may think what's happening in this class. But what we we all know so for sure. They go to this class and they got confused. Okay. The seed, the sprout is produced from the seed. So the question is, sprout is produced after the cessation of the seed? After the cessation of the seed or before the cessation of the seed? At the same time. Um, At the same time of the cessation. The cessation of the seed? After the last minute of the seed. Um, after the last minute of the seed. Yeah, at the same time. Okay, my question to you, the sprout is produced after the cessation of seed or before the cessation of seed? At the precise seed. Okay, let's say, let's say. After the cessation of seed was a problem. Then there's a gap. Before the cessation of seed was a problem. Two things should be together. So, Cessation seed and the production of the, the sprout happen together? Yes. 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 Yes.
has to. Yes, <laughs> true. Okay, so Matthew, and the Matthew, my question to you: The sprout is produced from the seed. Yes, is produced after the cessation of seed or before the cessation of seed? Or together? I give you only two options. Don't say continuous. I give only three options. And do you agree with me that for something, so for something to be produced from the seed? Is she, only there are three options. One is before the cessation of the seed, after the cessation of the seed, or simultaneously with the seed. Simultaneously huh? with the seed. with the seed. Right? Which means the seed ceased and the sprout starts. Is what I'm saying? Is what I'm saying? Is this what I'm saying? Is this only option? Yes. Okay, you louder. Yes. Okay, now let's say the seed, the seed, the seed, and the next moment is a sprout. So that sprout, next moment, say the seed, and the one millisecond after the seed, is that the sprout? Yes. That's not simultaneous, no. That's not yes. One millionth of a one millionth of a second after the seed. Is that a sprout? No, because that, it's not a sprout. No, because there's a gap in time. Whenever you say if you, if you put time in, in, in however whatever milliseconds, you can still put that in the seed. Oh, which means that the, the seed there's no time. There's no time. There's no time well, milliseconds there are. There's no even millisecond. Right. It's simultaneous. Something in between. Simultaneous. As, as one happens. Other, as one ends, the other happens. That's okay, now my question to you, my question to you. Seed and the sprout, these two meet in time or not? Yes. These two meet in time? Yes. There's a time when these two meet? Yes. Meet when these two are simultaneous? <laughs> meet means there should be a time when these two are formed together. Meet means? It's to go okay, let's say. Let's say. Okay. Let's say. Okay, let's say. Let's say. Let's say. Let's say. In one room, the nurse shift. Nurse shift. At 8 o'clock, the second shift comes. The first one leaves. At 8 o'clock, sham. The first one leaves, and the second one comes. Never happens. <laughs> okay, let's say. Right? If at one time the first leaves and the second comes there, the second one does not see the first, do we still say that these two meet? No, there's a gap in time. No, there's no, the two cannot meet if they are not simultaneous. Do you agree with me or not? There are two different things. Do you agree with me or not? Yes. Do you agree with me or not? Yes. Two does not meet if they are not simultaneous. To meet means there must be a time when these two are together. No, this is not my question. My question is to say two things meet means there must be a time when both are seen together. Do you agree with me or not? Yes. Okay. Which means that two things together at one time is known as simultaneously the air. Yes. This meaning. Yes. Yes. Right? Okay, so the seed and shoot is simultaneous at one point. Right? So at one point, the seed is there, shoot is there. So what's the use of this seed? Shoot is already there. The seed is for to help the shoot to come out. While the help is required, the shoot is already there. It's just changing the power. It's just changing the power. It's changing the power. It's changing the power. Okay. I, ice, water, water will turn into ice. <laughs> I understand. I, 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 it's the same as the no, no, same. No, I'm not rejecting these principles. I'm accepting these. I'm, I know these principles already. Right? I know this. Right? I am not asking these questions. These, these points I know already. I'm asking something different. You should hit the target. The question that I ask you, you are the target. My question is, 
the seat and the shoe do they meet or not? That's my question. Yes. They don't meet. Okay, look. Why this why the general answer is coming? Because you are not clear. The concept is very unclear. Huh? Meet not meet, no, no question to you. The seat and the shoe they meet or not meet. Okay, raise hands those who said do not meet. Do not meet, raise hands. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, those who say yes, please do meet. Jack. Okay, most of you. Shweta. I think neither. Okay, neither. Right? Meet, not meet. Conventionally, this to a tree. Right? This to mutually exclusive. If meet doesn't happen, not not meet should happen. This is the conventional reality. So therefore, if you say meet, there's a problem. If you say don't meet, there's a problem. If you meet, then the seat and shoes to be together. If these two together, then seat is not a seat. Because the seat, the very purpose of the seat is to help. It's a cause for the shoot. It's a cause. Cause means to help the shoot to come out. It's already come out. Why would you have this required? So the seat should not be seen. If they meet, if they don't meet, there should be a time gap. If there's a time gap, what's in between this question? If you meet, there's a problem. If you don't meet, there's a problem. It's not because of your, your problem, it's because of your belief in objective existence. We believe it that meeting there. If you think about it subjectively, then. <laughs> Do they meet or not? This is a question. As, as I physically die, I immediately go into the party. Yes. Same as the seed immediately going into the shoe. Okay, then I know that. My question to you, do they meet or not? Yeah. Immediately go, when they go, how do they, they meet and go or without meeting go? Go, I will agree, I will be, I agree with you. Right? Immediately go, you agree, I agree. My next question to you is, they meet and go or they don't meet and go? They have to meet. <laughs> if meet, there's a problem. If don't meet, there's a problem. Why, why, is, why, the problem? why is meeting a problem? <laughs> meeting is a problem, the cause and the effect should be, should be simultaneous. It is simultaneous. If this simultaneous, what's the point of the cause? The, the, the result is already there. No, no. <laughs> there the result is there or not? The time of the seed, at the time of the seed, was this the result or not? Yes. At the time of the seed, there was no result. Which means this was not simultaneous. Okay, we have to learn how to ask these questions. You're getting it? People can distract. Don't let them distract you. Be precise. Tell them that I know what you're saying. Right? Answer this question. Do they meet or not? Right? Meet or not meet? Definitely meet. Wow. Definitely meet. <laughs> definitely simultaneous. Yes. Okay, yes. Definitely simultaneous. Okay, let's focus on this. Definitely simultaneous. Definitely simultaneous means definitely when the seed was there, when the shoot was there, the seed was there. Yeah. Definitely when the shoot was already produced, the producer was there. Yes. Definitely when the shoot was already produced, what help is required for the produce, for the shoot? What happens? What help is required? The seed is to help. There is still, there seed, is still seed, the meaning is what? The cause. Yes. Cause, the meaning of the cause is to bring out the result which is not yet out. It's already out. If you remove the seed at that point of time, then this is not my question. Die. My question is the shoot is already out. You said it. Yeah, but Production and produce, you made the distinction. The you remember seed, that? The seed said, is still doing a job there. My question to you is the produced. When the produce is there, actual production is not there. You accepted it. You remember? The actual nurturing is there. Okay, actual nurturing is there. So it is not the seed to produce the, sh the shoot. It does more than one job. No, no, no. So the act, the seed for the seed to nurture the shoot may be there, but the seed to produce the shoot is not there. Yeah, it is there. The seed no, you 
make a distinction between the seed to produce this shoot, seed to nurture the shoot. This is what I say. Yes. For nurture, there's a problem. Nurture means it's already produced, then you nurture it further. Yes. <clears throat> produce means it's not there, make it happen, make it come out. Yes. So the seed to produce is there or not? Yes. At the time of this at the time of the shoot. The question is wrong. The question that you're asking is an incorrect question. Oh. Be because, because what is happening is the seed is as it... Can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? A different one? My, that, can, I, can I ask a question? Yeah. Can I, am I allowed to ask a question where? The seed and the shoot. The seed gives rise to the shoot by meeting or without meeting. You see, can I ask the question or not? No. <coughs> Why not? Because there is there is no definitive change between the seed and the shoot. There is no there is no definition of seed and a definition of shoot that we will agree on conventionally. Why not? Before the before the shoot is the seed. After the conventional, there is no conventional agreement oh. on when one moves to the other. So you're asking for a question. So which means, which means, which means you are saying that the seed did not move to the, the sprout. So it did not transform into the sprout. We label. Did, we, did, we label something. No, did it transform or not? <clears throat> we, no, nothing transformed. Everything transformed, but we just. We merely labeled something a seed. This is not my question. We, I know. I'm not answering. My question you. is whether or not the seed gives rise to this, the shoot. No. <laughs> So that the other person cannot deviate you, cannot distract you. You're getting it? This skill is very important. With this skill, you will be able to see the reality very quickly. If the other person distracts you and you are carried away by the distraction, you will never hit the reality. You will never see the reality. Okay, let's, let's continue. So we go lunch. So what's the answer then? What's the answer? What answer? <laughs> Okay, I don't know whether people here know this or not, but people in some other place, they know that. When I ask a question, don't expect the answer coming from me. So therefore, therefore, always be wise. If you want to answer from me, you have to ask a question. Don't let me ask this question to you. But you don't like our answer. I, I, I ask the question, you so good at Which means that you have to think more. I give the, I ask a question, I never give the answer to this question. Right? If you want me to give the answer, we have to make sure that you don't let me ask this question to you. You have to ask the answer, question from your side to me. Yes? You know, it just came to my mind that your question Because the sprout is 
seed are different. The sprout is not the seed. The sprout does not come from the seed after it has ceased, nor does it come from the seed while it has not yet ceased. Rather, the sprout is born precisely as the seed ceases. If you go into this analysis, this is the analysis. Okay, what we say is that everything exists subjectively. Everything exists conventionally. Who is the expert on the conventions of the seed and sprout? The farmers. The farmers, the gardeners. Right? They are expert on the conventions of this seed and sprout. If you go to them, ask them whether the, the, the sprout is given rise to after the seed ceased or while it is still there, you ask this question, they will not be interested to answer your question. Which means that this has crossed the border of the conventionality of the farmers. You get it? The moment you cross the border of the conventionality, you go into the ultimate. In the ultimate, you will find nothing. See, if we say, where is, where is Dorji? I'll say that I'm here. After seeing me, okay, is this what the non-philosophers, for example, let's say who? Let's say um, the Mozart. Who's Mozart? Musician. Musician, Mozart. Let's say he's not a philosopher. Let's say he's a musician, not a philosopher. If I say, he is Mozart, he'll say that I'm here. Is it within the conventions, convention of identifying the person or not? Convention of identifying the person. Where's Mozart? I'm here. He raised his hands. Is it correct or not? So you are still, this analysis, this inquiry is within the, within the convention of the identifying people. After seeing Mozart, still say, which is Mozart? Mozart, your body is Mozart, your mind is Mozart, your sleep is Mozart, like this, then you, this, the, you have crossed the border of the conventionality of identifying a person. <laughs> the moment you cross the border of conventionality, what's the opposite of conventionality? Ultimate. The moment you cross the border of conventionality, you go into the ultimate. In the ultimate, nothing will be found. For example, one example that I, we can give is that, for example, this clock. This clock. Where's the clock? It's here. It's correct. It's correct. Which one? This is outer cover. The, the screen or the inside chip, chips, which is the which is the, the clock. If you go to this, you will never find the clock because you have already crossed the conventionality of the clock. Likewise, so when we look for sprout, does it grow from the seed? Yes, that is within the convention of the, the, the farmers or gardeners. After seeing that, still you ask, the sprout grew from the, the seed, seed, after seizing, after, before seizing like this, this is what, this is not the convention of the, the, the farmers or farming system. So you have crossed the border of the conventionality. Crossing the border of the conventionality, you go into the ultimate. In the ultimate sense, you will never find anything. You will never get an accurate answer. Which means that it's not that there's no answer, this is the reality. That it does not exist. The sprout being given rise to by the seed does not exist in the ultimate domain. It exists only in the conventional domain. So the moment you cross the conventionality, you will never find the act of production. So the, all these questions that I'm asking you, you could not figure out ultimate the analysis or the conventional analysis. You could not figure out that. Because you could not figure out that, you are trying to still trying to give the answer. Give the answer. In actuality, my questions are the questions pertaining to the ultimate domain. If you identify that, why you are stuck in the answer is because you, we have the belief in objective existence. Anything exists, it should exist objectively. So I'm trying to take you to the objective level. Objective level, nothing is there, but you believe in it. So that is challenge. You believe in the objective existence of this proud, given rise to by the seed. That is challenged by these questions. So you couldn't get answer. Not because that that you are very dull in your analysis, it's all because you believe in the production to be objectively real. Because of this, whereas if you know that production just conventionally happening, I ask these questions, you will just lock in there. You will say that this is a question of the ultimate analysis. 
Whereas, whereas team production just on the basis of the output analysis. You will see this. Well, you did not say, nobody said that. You are still struggling to say, yes, they meet, they did not meet. You are struggling so much. Right? Sorry? The ultimate and the conventional is not the how it is. The question is not the how, right? And this question was better or something. It's more of some sequencing. So it was very much a. So basically, the, the question that I ask is something which the experts of the, the, the production, experts on the cloud production, experts on the crop production, even they cannot give the answer. Which means that I have crossed their convention. Their convention of the farming. I have crossed that. Any question that crosses that border, you go to the ultimate. In the ultimate, you will never find production. Not because that you cannot get the answer, because the production really does not exist there. And we believe that it exists objectively. So therefore, we are trying to start to give the answer. Okay, we'll stop here. Eta Om Gati Gati Paragati Parasangati Bodhi Swatyata Om Gati Gati Thank you.